Hey everybody, it's Van Berman here and welcome back to another video and thought today we'd just go through um, some of the games that I've been playing on my uh, Steam Deck because I've been able to get stuff set up in order to be able to talk to you guys about this. Uh, I've not, as I've mentioned in previous videos, not had huge amounts of time to be uh, doing any sort of of gaming at all. Um, I have tried to find or tried to do a little bit on the Steam Deck and just yeah <clears throat> some games that I've been looking to play and some games I want to play this year as well so I don't know if it's got recent ones. Never mind. So I have been playing a little bit of Skyrim once again. I can't get away from it. I do thoroughly um, enjoy it but I sort of want to do a lot of the end game stuff but I don't have any like, proper endgame characters on Skyrim because I played the majority of it on PlayStation 3, so that makes things a little bit more difficult, I suppose. Um, I am, I am, ham, I am, also uh, trying to play through uh, Octopath Traveler, the first one. So yeah, well, I've only put three hours into it, but I am enjoying it so far. And then I want to go on. Oh, okay, <laughs> kick me right back. Um, and then I want to go and play Octopath Traveler 2 as well. That's been, yeah, pretty pretty good. Um, obviously, it's sort of really made for handheld console, developed for the Switch, if I can remember correctly. Both of them. And got no issue at all in playing through that. Uh, last year I played I Am Setsuna. I don't know if I actually, actually ever did a video on I Am Setsuna, but I don't think I did. So I do want to do that, although, in honesty, can I remember the story at this point? Um, no, but yes. No, but yes. I, uh, yeah, I do want to do a video on I Am Setsuna. It was really good. Um, yeah, finished it in June. And I think that was probably, yeah, around the time when I probably stop making videos so I think that was the one that I was planning to do next before I stopped making them so yeah if anyone's played that that's watching this then please do let me know what you thought about it interesting to hear if you got a similar thoughts to myself on that one it's a very much like an old school JRPG I know it's not all that like new but it's kind of new in the whole sort of Square Enix releasing like Final Fantasy 13 and 14 and 15 and 16. Anyway, point is that uh, it is a Square Enix released JRPG. It was the precursor to Lost Sphere, which I kind of want to try and play again out of a little bit of morbid curiosity, mainly because, like I say, I enjoyed I Am Setsuna quite a lot, but then to go and play, uh, to go and play that, then would yeah we'll, we'll see but i've heard it's nowhere near as good though so and from what i remember playing because i had it for the switch and i just did not play it at all uh, i played like the first half an hour and thought oh this is not particularly good i'm gonna need some to reinvest some proper time into this and yeah um and then i'll probably move on to playing triangle strategy which is sort of a spiritualist successor to to the Octopath Traveler games, I believe, which, uh, because I've been enjoying the first one, hopefully I'll enjoy the second one, and then hopefully I'll also enjoy the the third one, all made by um, the RPG Factory or something like that, I can't remember now. And then we also have Various Daylife as well, once again, similar sort of thing. So, yeah, I do, I'm quite keen to work my way through the uh, JRPG stuff that is, like, modern-ish and available and seems like it won't be complete and utter rubbish. Uh, I do also want to play more of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, quite like the D and D aesthetic and it's not on my sort of hit like proper top priority to play, but definitely up there um, as a option. Also Bannerlord as well, I'm sure we'll see a few mods here and there for that. And I think that's roughly about it for what I've actually got installed on my Steam Deck. It's a shame I never invested the time to play Disco Elysium because I do really want to and that yeah there's I mean it's quite ambitious really considering the fact that I'm going to have absolutely no uh, 
um, free time at all. Well, there you go. Just thought I would bring this to you as like a bit of a video in terms of what I would quite like to have time to play. And, you know, should I finish the two Octopath Traveler games this year, I think I will have done pretty well out of that out of that list that we've just discussed. Um, and I mentioned this before in a previous video, but also looking forward to Fallout London, which is obviously a mod, but nevertheless. And, oh gosh, Dragon's Dogma 2 looks interesting. I just, I have, I don't really know how to describe Dragon's Dogma. Like on paper, it seems like I would really enjoy it because I had it for did it come out for the PlayStation Three or PlayStation Four? I can't remember. And I maybe put like ten to fifteen hours in. I just I could never get to that point where I'm like, yeah, I really want to keep playing this. It was really the opposite. It was as though I'm sort of a little bit lost for direction, but I also am struggling to really like care for the story to push me through. And I'm hoping, because I don't really have any problem with the gameplay and the like, the ideas and the mechanics. I thought they were pretty sound and like quite interesting. But it only takes you so far. And I think if you can embroil it with a bit better storytelling, um, they're sort of gone for the same sort of style that they're that of Dragon's Dogma One, but trying some new things, which is great. And I think that's the sort of game that you should try those sort of things with you know i think it's a really good place to do it i think i think it like visually it looks really good as well um definitely my type of or should him on paper be my type of game but we'll just have to really we'll just have to see with that it's just and the price of the game is just absolutely astronomical um let me see if i can get i don't know if people have really realized just how expensive dragon's dogma is now obviously i would probably or if i'm gonna get it i will get it off of um key site right so like cd keys or something which you know is always a good place to go like save your money all that sort of stuff oh there it is dragon dogma too but and i am guessing because i can't fully remember but the price for it on CD keys is quite expensive as well. So it's coming out on the 22nd of March, which is not really that far away. A couple of months, assuming that it does. And it's 50... I don't, it's really strange pricing. But it's £53.98. Like, you've got to be fairly sure of a game if that's the cost. I'm just going to have a look on CD keys now and see what, how much it is currently. And then you've got the deluxe edition, of which I'm not even on CD keys. Clicked on the wrong one. Which, is it going to be worth it? I don't imagine so. <laughs> it's an extra 12 quid as well. Oh yeah, for some reason there's also um, a Stargate game coming out as well. It's interesting. Having said that, on CD keys, even Tekken 8 is 38 quid. Crazy. I mean, I really like the Tekken games, but I don't know if I like them that much. <laughs> um, there's what we're doing. We're looking at, we were looking at Dragon's Dogma Two. So Dragon's Dogma Two is thirty-eight pounds, thirty-seven ninety-nine for the base game, which is a pretty good saving. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good saving. It's fifteen pounds, um, and then you've got forty-three ninety-nine for the deluxe edition, which is an even better saving if you can stomach. The extra for the deluxe edition but it's just an insane amount of money it really is considering as this is probably one of those games where like two months after launch particularly on like place like cd keys and stuff it's going to be <laughs> probably quite heavily discounted i would imagine um so let's see what you get for your because uh shall i we don't need to see the steam page do we i don't know so what do you get for your uh, extra money? So it's called A Boon for Adventures, the New Journey Pack. Or New Journey Pack. So you get Explorer's Camping Kit, Camping Gear. You get the Music and Sound Collection. That's fair enough. A Harpy Snare Smoke Beacons to lure harpies. Um, a Heartfelt Pendant. 
which is a thoughtful gift. Ambivalent rift incense, change pawn inclinations. Makeshift jail key, escape from jail. I didn't realise we, we could be put into jail, but yeah, okay, that's interesting. Um, art of metamorphosis, so the ability to edit your character. Hmm. A wake stone, or wake stone, restore the dead to life. And then 1500 rift crystals. I think there was rift crystals in the first game, wasn't there? Um, I must admit, I don't particularly like the look of that for a, a deluxe edition. It just seems like... It's almost like cheats, I guess. In a way. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know that every deluxe edition where you get in-game items is basically a cheat a little bit anyway. But... I don't know. Like, is that worth an extra 12, 13 quid? I mean, clearly it's to someone. Like, I don't get, don't get me wrong. You want to include your art books and your and your soundtracks and stuff like that? Like, absolutely, go ahead. Like, I'm not going to criticise any company for giving that stuff away. Some people really like that. It's not really for me. I must say, uh, it doesn't sort of make me want to buy it. But that's a real shame. That's just so expensive. Like, I really people crying in PlayStation 5, but I'm really not used to spending that kind of money on uh, these sort of games, so I don't know, it's something to think about, but um, yep, I quite want to play it, it's, it's looking like a really slim year of stuff that has been <laughs> announced, or not, well, yeah, hopefully there's stuff to come that hasn't been announced as of yet, but um, he looks cool, doesn't he, look at that, Lion Knight, very cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. What can I say? I think it will be all right. Maybe in the run-up, I should give the <laughs> first Dragon's Dogma game another go. I don't know if I just, I don't know if I got the time for that. Like, if I think about having to put those hours in, I would probably be much, I'd probably enjoy my time more playing Octopath Traveler. So, yeah, a bit of one of them. Anyway, I've rambled on for a really long time. I can't remember what the video was even about. So... Oh yeah, games, team games I want to play. Or games I want to play in 2024. Is the crux of it. So, hmm. let me know what you think. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. As you can see, I'm not in my usual location. Um, and that is because I happen to be, like, I guess, away with work a bit from time to time. Uh, or at least, you know, several times throughout the year. And I thought it might be quite cool if I had a sort of mobile setup where I could you know just bring it with me and if I need to record a video or I need to call some, record some gameplay or something like that I could just do it because if I'm away from home anyway then unless there's like work and stuff to pick up I might as well just yeah try and put my energy into something into sort of like rekindling I guess making videos for YouTube so I don't know I think I think this works okay there's going to be there's as with all stuff as soon as you add in like a new mic or a new webcam or you're you know recording on a different computer than normal you're going to get anomalies and stuff that doesn't work quite right but i'm sure i'll get through all those teething issues and we can i can hopefully make something that's worth yeah worth watching i don't think i like, don't think really streaming is going to be possible um i don't think not necessarily because of the internet although i'm not sure how good the internet is but I would imagine that the laptop is probably not suitable for it. So it is my um, Lenovo 5500U. So it's not like it's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a low-powered APU. I think it's roughly, well, as we've seen, roughly similar power to the Steam Deck. So I don't know if you necessarily can stream on that. I guess it someone probably has. And fair enough. Anyway. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.